most enjoyable parts of any NFL season is the mic'd up moment. It's always fun to see what's actually being said between these players once they step on the gridiron. Sometimes the comments are funny, other times they're rather intense. But one thing you can always count on from these clips is that they're plenty entertaining. With another season in the books, now's the perfect time to look back on some of the NFL's best mic'd up moments from the 2020 season. So let's get right into it. Number 15. George Kittle's pep talk to K1 Williams. San Francisco 49ers All-Pro tight end George Kittle has one of the NFL's most beloved and outgoing personalities. Few NFLers are as entertaining as this guy when it comes to the whole mic'd up thing. Ahead of the San Francisco 49ers Week 1 opener against the Arizona Cardinals, Kittle gave a bit of a pep talk to veteran cornerback K1 Williams. Kittle gave him a bit of inspiration before closing out the speech with an epic finishing line that only he could make. A little anxious? Good. That means it matters. You feel me? Yes, sir. I'm about to go peek my brains out. Kittle finished that game with four receptions for 44 yards. He certainly didn't look like someone who was ready to puke their brains out if you ask us. Number 14, Ryan Tannehill versus Malcolm Butler. Tennessee Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill finished the 2020 season with 266 rushing yards, the second most of his career. That moved Tannehill to 1,661 career rushing yards. He's a solid mobile quarterback, and opposing defenses often fail to account for his scrambling abilities. Sometimes, the guy just needs to remind us that he's got some wheels on him, like he did prior to the Titans' Week 15 contest against the Lions, when he beat cornerback Malcolm Butler in a race. Then, let him hear about it. You don't want to do one? <laughs> hey, hey, don't be surprised. I got that juice. You don't want that smoke. It's bad enough getting beaten a race by your 32 year old quarterback, but having to hear it from them afterwards as well must have sucked to be Butler here. Number 13. Austin Eckler checking in on Justin Herbert. Los Angeles Chargers running back Austin Eckler was mic'd up for the team's Week 2 home game, their first at the brand new SoFi Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. This also marked the debut of rookie quarterback Justin Herbert, who started in place of an injured Tyrod Taylor. Herbert got the defending Super Bowl champions by surprise with a phenomenal outing, completing 22 of 33 pass attempts for 311 yards and a touchdown. Herbert also displayed remarkable toughness after taking a hard hit from Chiefs linebacker Damian Wilson along the sidelines, which led to this epic soundbite from Eckler. Oh! oh I'm glad you're okay. You, you straight up cuckooed that. Though the Chargers lost in overtime, this was only the start of a phenomenal rookie year for Herbert. Number 12. Even the Chiefs make Tyree Kill speechless. Patrick Mahomes and Andrew Reid have revolutionized the art of the NFL passing game. It's simply a treat for all football fans to watch. The crafty play calling by Reid, featuring countless plays that many of us have never seen before, always leaves opposing defenses at a loss for words. One such play against the Baltimore Ravens in Week 3 was so perfectly executed that it even left Tyree Kill surprised. A tackle eligible! Eric Fisher! Oh, and it actually worked. Nothing the Chiefs do should surprise Hill or anyone else in the NFL universe at this point. Number 11, Bill Belichick's humbling moment. Many of you folks saw the famous clip where a starstruck Sean McVay meets Bill Belichick at midfield before the Los Angeles Rams New England Patriots showdown in Super Bowl 53. That night, McVay learned a hard lesson from the Jedi Master, whose brilliant game plan limited the high-powered Rams offense to a field goal in a 13-3 loss. McVay said that the Super Bowl defeat was, quote, very humbling. He got the chance to redeem himself when the Rams hosted Belichick's Patriots on Thursday Night Football in Week 14. This time, it was McVay who was giving the lesson, as the Rams rushed for 186 yards in a 24-3 blowout victory. And afterwards, a humbled Bill Belichick couldn't help but give some props to the coach of the better team that night. Good job, yeah, you killed us. Yeah, no, you had a great plan. Appreciate it, man. Got a good team, yeah. Way. Good luck, yeah, you Thanks, too. Coach. Yeah, good job. It's not often you hear those types of words from Belichick, so hey, enjoy it. We certainly did, which is why it made our list. Number 10, DK Metcalf leaves Buda Baker at a loss for words. Seattle Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf performed arguably the best play of the 2020 regular season when he chased down Arizona Cardinals safety Buda Baker to prevent a pick six in their thrilling week seven Sunday nighter. Until Metcalf caught him, Baker clearly thought he was on cruise control to the end zone. 
but Metcalf led him practically speechless heading back to the sidelines. By Baker. Yeah! Yeah! How'd he catch my ass? What the? Baker went to the bench and vented to teammate Patrick Peterson. He still couldn't comprehend how Metcalf managed to chase him down. Behind you! Yeah, I didn't tell me he was behind me. Hey, you what's that right there? 20 yards behind what's that? Hey, what's that right there? Don't worry, Buddha. It was still a great play by you. Number nine, Eric Ebron's sideline tail. The Pittsburgh Steelers defense embarrassed Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns in their week six meeting at Heinz Field. Pittsburgh superstar Minka Fitzpatrick gave a preview of what was to come when he picked off Mayfield and took it to the house for six in the first quarter. That led to a hilarious sideline story from Eric Ebron about their locker room configuration. We share lockers, like his locker right here, my locker right next to him. Y'all believe that? I wonder if Minka signed the ball for his biggest fan, Mr. Ebron, after the game. Number eight, who do you think you are? I am. Professional bowler Pete Weber is the man who created one of the most legendary sound bites in the history of American sports. After recording a strike in the 2012 US Open, a fired up Weber had this to say. Are you kidding me? That's right. Who do you think you are? I am. Well, Mr. Weber, I hope you don't mind if Arizona Cardinals All-Pro quarterback Patrick Peterson steals that line. Because that's exactly what he did after Byron Murphy recovered an Ezekiel Elliott fumble in the Cardinals Cowboys Week 6 Monday Nighter. <laughs> hey! Who do you think you are? I am! The Cardinals soundly defeated the Cowboys 38 to 10 in that one. So we must ask this to America's team. Who do you think you are? Answer? I am! Number seven, Tyree Kill recreates Shannon Sharp's phone call. The Denver Broncos were embarrassing the New England Patriots during a 1996 regular season game at Foxborough Stadium, which prompted Hall of Fame tight end Shannon Sharp to deliver an all-time classic of a soundbite. These folks, they're coming. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Well, Kansas City wide receiver Tyreek Hill decided to recreate Sharp's phone call during a dominant performance for the ages against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 12. Hill turned to Bucks fans and informed them that help was on the way. Help? Okay, you on the way? Okay. Help is on the way. Top. Help is on the way, guys. Hill finished the game with 269 yards and three touchdowns in a 27 to 24 victory. So I suppose that phone call was warranted, wouldn't you agree? Number six, Joe Burrow and Josh Allen fight over the ref. Ahead of the Cincinnati Bengals week four home game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, Joe Burrow, who was making his fourth NFL start, took it upon himself to politely introduce himself to the officials. Let's go, y'all boys. Don't, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Well, Jacksonville Jaguars starter Josh Allen apparently took notice and didn't want the officials playing favorites. So he made a point to introduce himself to the refs as well. Burrow caught on, however, and that's when things turned from unusually polite to incredibly hilarious. Nice to meet you, Alex. What's your name? Call me Pack. That's my nickname. No. See, no. Hey, we even, man. Regardless of which players the refs liked more, it was the Bengals who won 33 to 25, marking Burrow's first win in the NFL. But for what it's worth, Allen did manage to sack Burrow once in the game. Number five, Gardner Minshew wants that football. We can only wonder what kind of words are being exchanged when players are fighting over a loose football. You'd expect some harsh trash talk with a bit of profanity, but as it turns out, sometimes the language is rather innocent. How do we know this? Well, it's all thanks to Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Gardner Minshew, who had a hilarious exchange with Kyle Van Noy as they fought over a loose football. That's us. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Unfortunately for Minshew, the football was rightfully awarded to Van Noy. Twas just one of the many plays that went wrong for the mustached man and his Jacksonville Jaguars in a dismal 1-15 season. Number 4. Mike Tomlin's kind message for Chase Young. The undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers face the Washington football team, led by superstar rookie pass rusher Chase Young at Heinz Field in Week 13. During the game, Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin had a kind yet humorous message for Young, the number two pick of the 2020 draft. Tomlin came over to Young and praised his greatness, while also noting that he hopes he never loses enough games to the point where he can draft a player of Young's caliber. I want to lose enough games to get a guy like you. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, and I yeah. play against you all the time. Because you got to lose 14, 15 games to get a Pretty nice compliment from a Super Bowl winning and future Hall of Fame head coach. Young and Washington must have fed off of it as they stunned the previously unbeaten Steelers with a 23-17 road victory. Number three, Fletcher Cox wants Brandon Graham to knock it off. Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham have formed one of the NFL's most explosive pass rushing duos. The two veteran pro bowlers were instrumental in helping the Philadelphia Eagles win Super Bowl 52, the first in franchise history. The nice thing about this partnership is that, well, Cox apparently isn't afraid to tell Graham when it's time to stop trash talking and focus on football. Take for example the Eagles week 4 road game against the San Francisco 49ers. A fired up Graham was talking plenty of trash to the opposition before Cox had to finally step in and tell him to knock it off. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I know, I know, I got you. <laughs> you know, I you. Could you imagine having to listen to that for an entire 60 minutes? Wouldn't be surprised to hear that Cox had a major headache after this one. Next time, he might want to take an Advil before the game. Number two, Jamal Adams wants his victory cigar. Jamal Adams' first three NFL seasons went to waste on a hapless New York Jets team. He cleverly requested a trade and was sent to the Seattle Seahawks in a 2020 blockbuster that would change the landscape of the NFC. Adams got to finally experience winning at the NFL level, helping the Seahawks finish with a 12-4 record to claim the NFC West. He finished with 9.5 sacks, the most ever for a defensive back in a single season. After the Seahawks defeated the Rams in Week 16 to clinch the division, Adams was ready to celebrate. And what better way to do so than with a victory cigar? You hear me? Hey, where I my need, cigar at? I need my hat and shirt. Yeah. I, need my, I need my cigar now. I need my hat and shirt. Those LSU boys sure do love their victory cigars. Number one. Another Philip Rivers special. Indianapolis Colts quarterback Philip Rivers is simply a once in a lifetime gem when it comes to displaying his emotions on the field. How many times has this guy gone viral over his hilarious facial reactions or epic mic'd up sound bites? Well, Rivers' personality thankfully didn't change in the slightest when he made the move from Los Angeles to Indianapolis. During the Colts' week three blowout home win against the New York Jets, Rivers was mic'd up while talking some friendly trash to presumably Jets defensive coordinator Greg Williams about having 12 men on the field. Can't play with 12, Greg! Hey, Greg, you can only play with 11, Greg! Just a reminder for those of you who didn't know, you can't play with 12, Greg! But what other hilarious mic'd up moments from the 2020 NFL season should we have included on our list? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.